Thanks for watching My News 26. I'm Remington Hernandez on the Manistee Channel, speaking with Mr. Uh, with Deputy uh, Michael Securis. He was a Marine Deputy here for Manistee County. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. It's wonderful. Now, you, we are on your patrol boat, your Lake Michigan patrol boat. So tell me, what exactly do you do daily as a Marine Patrol Deputy? Well, we go out, and my partner and I, we, we uh, cover Lake Michigan. We cover Manistee Lake. Uh, we have uh, to get there's other lakes that we can get to from Lake Michigan, like uh, Portage Lake and Lake Arcadia. So we have our patrol areas from uh, Benzie County down to Mason County, halfway across to Wisconsin mm -hmm. on Lake Michigan. So that's a huge coverage area. What kind of uh, calls do you get sent out on? We get calls for lost kayakers. We get calls for boats on fire. We get calls for deer in the water, uh, just about any kind of call. And do you find yourself assisting uh, agencies like the Coast Guard and uh, local police departments? Absolutely. Yep, we do a lot of stuff with the Coast Guard. We do a lot of stuff with the DNR. And when, when you get called out, what is the process you have to go through to get ready to actually uh, go ahead and respond? Just get here as fast and as safe as we can and make sure everything's working, and then we go out. And today is, is a little bit of a drizzly day, a little bit of a cloudy day, uh, but I'm sure you go out in worse conditions. Uh, you go out year round. How is it when things start to you know, ice over? We do not, we're, we're on a grant, so we only, we only start, uh, my job, I start in um, April, April 1st I start, and I go till um, no, October 31st. Right. So in between that time, if there's something on the river, most of my, my bigger boats will be um, winterized. I have a river boat that I can get on the river. Uh, if I have to get, I've got another boat, an inland boat that I could get on. But most of that, uh, even the Coast Guard, their boats are, they're put away too, so. Okay. So, so the Manistee County Sheriff's Office works in many facets, including uh, here on the channel and in Lake Michigan. How often do you find yourself having to uh, enforce a lot of the laws. Uh, is, is it often? Yes. No. Yes. And could you speak to uh, what kind of laws you see most broken around here that you maybe want to tell people to uh, get better on? A lot, of, a, lot of our, a lot of our stuff that we do, probably about 85% of our stops would be for registration. Registration is always wrong. Uh, we, we're seeing a lot this year of, if you're under six years of age, a child, and they're in an open vessel, an open, an open vessel, and it's and it is moving. They have to have a Type One or Type Two PFD on, meaning if they get thrown out of the boat, it'll make them, uh, it'll it'll make them face up so they can they can breathe. If they have a Type Three, which is like a vest, you don't know where they're going to be. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. We've stopped a lot of people this year and gave them a lot of verbal warnings on that, and that's one of our problems that in actually not even having life jackets in your boat and what kind of uh, fines could people face for that we don't do the fines we just enforce it just that's enforce up to the courts okay no okay um, so you just try to get out there and get let people know how to uh, how to properly boat uh, that, that's probably one of your main things um, so what kind of training do you have to go through to actually get out here and uh, know how to do things there's a marine academy that's held in Ottawa County Ottawa County puts it on with uh, the Michigan Sheriff's Association, and it's usually in May, and it's a week class, it's 40 hours. They go through anywhere through first aid, they do uh, boat patrols, how to run the boat. Um, there's some water rescue stuff in there also. Uh, they get you in the pool, you take, your, you take a pair of pants and you, you make a life jacket out of it so you can float, and it, it's pretty knowledgeable. What are some of the main things that people ask you as a Marine deputy when, when, they, when you go and they see you and when you go out? There's a lot of questions, um, a lot with PFDs. A lot of people don't, they, they don't know that if you're in a kayak or if you're in a canoe, you still have to have some kind of PFD, either a boat cushion or a wearable. And that's a lot of questions we get. Do we have to have this on our boat? Yes, you do. And um, finally, um, you want to keep people safe and things like that. If someone has a water emergency, what type of water emergency constitutes calling 911? We just had one last week down here off of Fifth Avenue Beach where we had uh, two or three kids that were in distress. Uh, There's a phone right there on the beach. Somebody called it, used it. Uh, the Coast Guard went, we went, city police went. Mm. So everybody got out of the water. Everything was fine. I think the one child went to the 
uh, to the hospital to get checked out. Other than that, I think everything was fine. So, so never be hesitant to call no matter where you are in the county. Thank you very much, Deputy uh, Securus. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Here on the channel in Manistee, on the Manistee County Sheriff's Office uh, Mich Lake Michigan boat, I'm Remington Hernandez for My News 26.